Hi, today we're going to discuss about the for loops. Okay, so simple for loop is written in this way. Right, so we have some conditions here. Okay, and some conditions here and some conditions here. We have three parts in the for loop. So the main question is can we have uh, two for loops one after one another? Yes, we can have it. Okay, so you can just write inside the for loop in this fashion okay and you can also hold some conditions to into it okay so nested for loops are a very important uh, part in the C language okay let me show you an example let's say i equals to zero okay um, yes zero i is less than equal to 10 let's say and i is uh, incremented by 2 all right uh, let's say i take another variable j because i is uh, should not be present here because we want to have a independent loops right so let's say i will start with j1 and j is less than equals to up till 10 okay fine and j uh, plus plus let's say right and I want to print uh, a table right into gives me right I comma J comma um, I into J right okay and also I'm going to take it to the next line okay so here's the thing now let's execute this code now there's a problem here which is I have not declared the integer j i and j right and now let's compile it okay so what does this uh, is doing is so it is taking one three and five seven nine right and in the jth part we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten up till one to from one to ten and it's giving me the nth result of the multiplication one to one one to two right so i want to explain here is the i part which is this column is incremented by two see if you can see that one plus two is three three plus two is five five plus two is seven seven plus two is nine right and for the j you can say that there's an increment by one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right for each and every one three five and seven so you can see that there's a uh, nested kind of structure going on in this volume right so it is a very important part where you can print the tables of any number let's i will let me uh, show you an example right let me uh print a table for you let's say 23 right so i want to just print the table print let's execute this code it will give you the table for 23 right so 23 is multiplied with i which is going from 1 to 10 and every time I'm increasing the value of i by 1 and it will give me a result of 23 into 1, 23 into 2, 23 into 4, 5, 6 and so, on, and so on, right? So let me execute this code here and it will show me the table, right? And also you may uh, give a different range from 11 to let's say uh, 100, right? And it will show you the table, okay, in this way. And also some of your uh, uh, problem statement goes in this way you need to print a uh, uh, pyramid right you need to print a pyramid like which is shown here let's say star 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 okay so how can you do that so it is a very important question for n equals to 5 you need to print uh, 5 lines right you need to print 5 lines and at each line the star increases right so how do you do that so let me show you an example now let's start to solve this problem okay how to solve this problem such kind of problem is so you need to understand few things 
first thing is uh, what is a line so you can see that in the line number one let's I'm writing here line okay line number one okay it is line number two right it is line number three it is line number four it is line number five right and how many stars you are printing str star okay the star is printed from line number one to one right and then star is from one up till two stars right number of stars are from one to three and uh, stars are from one to uh, four right and uh, it starts is from one to five so you have seen this pattern here okay so for this line for this column you need to print these many uh, rows right so what will be the actual function look like okay so let's focus on this um, closing it okay so first thing is write a for loop for the number of lines okay L lines are from one to line number line is should be less than equal to uh, n okay n uh, I'm going to uh, initialize the n late and line plus plus for each and every line okay for this should be a nested loop I hope you have understood why you're using nested loop okay star number of stars should be equal to from one because every time we are starting from one right and star should be less than equal to up till the number of lines see number of lines are equal so number of lines okay and uh, you need to also increment the star okay so here is the thing now you need to print the star right and close it and you can see that we are aft after every line we are uh, changing the line number right so after each and every uh, row after printing you need to uh, change the line or you have to enter into the next line so next line is the new line right so this code should give you the answer correct and let me initialize the values first let's say n equals to 5 and uh, this line should be initialized and star right now let's compile right and show the result correct is this correct right and also you can do up till uh, uh, let's say hmm, 40 lines okay so it will show you something like this okay it's kind of uh, diagram right so you can also experiment with this okay it is a one of the problem now let's uh, take a different problem we want to uh, print this kind of diagram in this in our console so you can see that in line number one we have five uh, stars line number two four stars line number three uh, three stars line number four two stars and five is one right so what the pattern looks like can you guess it so the line number is same it doesn't uh, change okay and what about the number of stars star should start with one it is shown here and the number of lines uh, we need to change this uh, expression a little bit so number of stars should be equal to n right n uh, minus hmm, line and uh, minus one I guess because if I place five here right and line number one is placed here no it should not give you the right answer okay fine I should take it to plus one right now I think it is correct now let's execute this okay it is fine giving the correct answer let me change it to four or five let's say five is there and it will show you the correct result right now you can also experiment with these different kinds of pyramids let's say what about this okay if you want to print uh, this uh, diagram so uh, many people will think what what the uh, what is the formula for doing such problems so the answer to this problem is very simple you need to uh, do for the n minus one steps as I've shown you earlier and then try to execute the code that I am 
showed just now okay so let me uh, give you a simple brief explanation let me copy this code here right and the code looks exactly the same just make it a line okay and uh, give it to it four right and uh, right and here and should be equal to five again close it and uh, let me uh, execute it okay it is showing you the right answer okay so in this way you can do it why I have changed to four because if I moved up to four as I've shown here up till this is a breaking point of this line okay it's a breaking point here you can do up till here and then start with a new right new one okay what do you think about this example so you can see that there's a space here in front okay um, and there's space here right and also there's a space here right and also here space right so you need to print this space right and uh, just focus on the number of patterns of space and stars so in line number one we have spaces one to four and then star from one to one right one star is there so only take the difference right and then in the second line we have one to three spaces right and uh, so why I'm writing one to one and th why there's a range because in for loop we have to use a range right that's why I'm using a range so you can just carry on with this uh, mathematics right and now let me uh, write the code for this program first we take a for loop okay we have included the line uh, for loop okay it is a simple for loop and inside the line for each line we also need to add a space as well as the number of stars so it means that in a for loop we should have two for loops right so one for loop is for the space okay and the second for loop is for the stars, right? So is it making a sense? Here is star. Okay. And uh, so we need to complete this for loops, right? According to the pattern we have stated here. So pattern finding is very easy. Okay. So let's uh, write the for loop for the uh, space. Now I'll see if it is making a sense. Sp space should start from one, okay, one, and it should end at four, three, two, one, zero. Let's put the value and check whether it is satisfying the equation or not. Okay, for n is five, right? So first thing is line is starting from one, right? So five minus one is four. So in the first iteration, four is there. In the second line, uh, five minus two is three. Okay, in the th last iteration, what should it happen is line is equal to 5 and 5 minus 5 would be 0 so it is satisfying the equation so in the space region we need to print only the space right and you should close it okay without any uh, new line and let's check for the uh, uh, star okay star and uh, should uh, initialized from 1 okay and it should finish at star is less than equal to uh, number of line okay the line number okay so here star should be plus plus and then we need to print a star and leave there and after each line we need to add a new line right so print new line okay now let's check whether this program is holding or not so yes it is correct we have done the right answer okay so I will give you some assignments on this so you m must solve that problems right so for this lecture it is all uh, done okay thanks for watching